So you're a YouTube creator that started to post YouTube shorts to your channel. And luckily for you, you're getting a good amount of views. Maybe some of your top videos are shorts. Plus, new subscribers are discovering your channel through the shorts tab. But there's one big problem. All of your success with shorts don't seem to carry over to your long form videos. I mean, look at this. Does this happen to you? While your YouTube shorts get a good amount of views and subscribers, your long form videos seem unaffected by all the success happening around them. What's going on? Well, it turns out there was a change in YouTube's algorithm that's causing this frustrating problem. We've gotten confirmation from YouTube that this is not only a problem that they know exists, but it's a problem that they intentionally created. Buckle up friends, this is what's happening. Since 2005, the data scientists at YouTube have been working on perfecting algorithms that can find and surface the best content for each user. You watch a video, YouTube takes note of what you watched, how long you watched it for, along with hundreds of other data points that they use to make decisions on what to recommend to you next. This process is how most people find the content that they watch on YouTube. Around a billion hours of video are watched on YouTube every single day, and over 70% of that watch time comes from videos that are recommended to users by the site's algorithms. This system worked pretty well until YouTube Shorts showed up. As this new style of content began flooding the viewer watch history that YouTube uses to make recommendations, there was a big problem. Todd is a director at YouTube who manages the team responsible for the algorithm that makes content recommendations. In an interview at this year's VidCon, Todd explained what went wrong. When we first launched Shorts, one thing that happened with the algorithm in the, in the long form is that a viewer would go and maybe they go into Shorts and watch like 200 short videos. And then they'd, they'd go back outside of Shorts to just kind of like the main YouTube. and. The algorithm actually wasn't used to seeing viewers watching a bunch of short videos and then going back to watching long videos. And so when, when the algorithm saw a viewer, oh, look, the last 200 videos this viewer watched were all under a minute. This viewer is like, they only want to watch short videos. And so it, it basically stopped recommending those viewers long form content in the main YouTube. Think about your own viewing habits for a second. Your taste and preferences for long form content are likely different from the type of shorts you enjoy. And since YouTube's algorithm couldn't make that distinction, it made recommendations outside of YouTube shorts that were totally wrong. People were angry. So what did YouTube do to fix the problem? Viewers, you know, started complaining to us and that one of my jobs is to listen to what viewers are saying and and so what we did at that time was say okay the algorithm doesn't know hand, how to handle shorts and and treat that the right way so we're going to split off uh the history for the viewers so when a viewer goes into the main youtube we're gonna not pay attention to what shorts they watch because we don't want the algorithm to get the wrong idea. If you're on the main YouTube, YouTube will recommend more videos based on your long form watch history. If you're browsing in the YouTube shorts tab, they'll recommend shorts based on your short form watch history. This solution makes total sense, but it also has one major downside. But, but what that means is since we did that, that there isn't much of a bridge from short to long form. So if if a viewer does discover a channel in shorts and then goes back to long form, right now the, the system doesn't actually know that they, wa they discovered that channel um, because we disconnected it. Oh, 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 what? Oh my goodness, that's so stupid. <sighs> so if you're a hybrid creator, meaning you post both YouTube shorts and long form videos on your channel, this solution sucks for you. Because viewers who discover you from YouTube Shorts are not more likely to be recommended your long form videos. In the eyes of the current YouTube algorithm, there's no connection between them. That's a bummer, especially since Shorts don't count toward the 4,000 hour watch time requirement to monetize your channel. It would be nice for more of those viewers to see your long form content. Plus, if you are in the YouTube Partner Program, those longer videos earn ad revenue, a thing that as of right now does not exist in the same way for shorts. Listen, I know it's not ideal. It's not exactly what we want. It makes sense for the viewer. It kind of hurts as the creator. How does this make you feel? Upset, happy, confused? Do you get it? Are you okay with it? Let me know in the comments below. 
the like button. But hey, YouTube's working on it. One of the things the team is working on right now is building that bridge back in. Todd and his team are aware sure. of the problem and they're actively developing a solution that makes sense for both creators and viewers. But the solution could take a while. With over a billion and a half viewers on shorts, bridging that gap is no small feat. Here's the thing. You don't even need YouTube Shorts to help your long form videos get views. In this next video, we talk about three things you can do to 10x the amount of views you're getting on your YouTube videos without using Shorts. Love you all, smash the like button, and keep creating.